Okay, so taking a look at this from an algebra point of view, um, again this is this idea that we've got a total budget of $850 and we've got to design a, a path through here that's going to give us a garden full of flowers that total cost will be $850. We've got pavers that are $4 each and there's four in one meter. And we've got our area and it's $25 for each square meter of planting in there. So we can use guess and check like I tried, like I showed you guys in the last video. Um, but here I'm going to actually try and think about some algebra. So think about it just from words at the start. I'll do words here. I've got my total budget. I've got to use that to cover the cost of the pavers and the cover of the cost of the flowers that are planted. So that's $850 has to cover the cost of my pavers and the cost of my flowers. So let's think about what the cost of my pavers are going to be. There's four of them in a meter and I need four dollars each and I can figure out how many I need by using my arc length. So that's going to be my arc length times four dollars per paver times four of them in a meter plus my area of my sector is going to be one half r squared theta times $25 because I know it's going to be $25 for each of them. So what I can work out here if I simplify this a little bit is I've got $8.50 total to spend. 4 times 4 is 16. Um, so I've got 16 R theta, just writing it at the front, plus 1 half of 25 is 12.5 R squared theta. If I can figure out some value of r that will work for this, then I'm in good shape. And let's think about replacing theta. So theta is our angle and we have to have that in radians. We converted that earlier. 92 degrees times pi divided by 100 gives us 1.6 radians. So if I plug that in, 850 is equal to 16, um, how do I want to do this? So 16 times 1.61 theta plus 12.5 times 1.61, oh, sorry, that's not theta on the last one, that's times the radius, and times the radius squared. So simplifying here, um, with a bit of rounding, we get roughly 25.69 r plus um, 20.07 r squared, has to equal 850. So this is a quadratic equation um, that we do need to solve, and to solve that we can use um, our calculators. You can use solver on your calculator, but we want to put it into um, polynomial, into the polysolve, so you're going into the equation editor, and then you're going into poly, um, and I'll show you guys that in a minute, but to do that we've got to rearrange this so it says zero equals, and we want it to be in the form of r squared r, and then some number. So I'm going to subtract 850 to the other side and just write these in a different order. 20.07 r squared first plus 25.69 r minus the 850. And this is what I can plug into my calculator. So again you're going to equation solver wherever that is in your calculator from the main menu and polynomial for F2 or you could be using the quadratic equation here. My degree this is a second degree polynomial because it's an r squared so we're going to select 2 and you'll notice here that it's saying for something x squared plus something x plus some number. That's why we've rearranged it to be something r squared plus something r plus some number. So let's put these in. 20.07 goes into the first spot. 25.69 goes into the second spot and that's a negative 850 so make sure you get the negative there. And press solve. Let's see what we get. So you can see there we get a positive 5.899 and a negative 7.179. Now a negative solution doesn't make any solution any sense for a radius because we don't want a negative radius so we're just going to go with that positive one. But I'll write that out here for us. So r is equal to 5.899 meters or negative 7.179 meters. It can't be negative. Okay, so we can try um, maybe an r equals 5.9. Now you notice 5.9 is slightly bigger than 5.899.
and 5.9 also doesn't fit into a paver category very well, like you can't really use a quarter of a paver. But we might just say that 5.9 is kind of close to a whole meter, so maybe if they space their gapping a little bit it would work. So let's figure out our cost here. For a radius of 5.9 meters, for my arc length I've got $16 times 1.61 radians times 5.9 meters. So again that's the cost times the arc length for the pavers. And then I'm going to have the cost of the flowers times the area. So that's 25 times 1.5 times 5.9 squared times 1.61. And working this one out, we end up here roughly rounding to um, 37.89 pavers. Oops, sorry, that's all in one step. Did it differently on my sheet before. So, 16 times 1.61 times 5.9, that's roughly $151.98. So we might just say $152 there roughly. And here for my total cost for the flowers, that's going to be $698.68. And when we add these two together, what do we get? Um, plus 698.68. We end up with roughly $850.66. So that's pretty close to the $850 budget, but it is over. Um, so if you leave this as your answer, you want to make sure that you talk about that. So you could say something like... So you could say something, um, this is very close to the $850 budget, but if, um, sorry, if they can't afford the extra 66 cents, um, they will need a smaller radius. So a couple of other things here that we probably want to talk about is making sure that we, um, make this actually make sense. So. I don't know that I would buy this answer completely just as it is, because one of the things that's still hanging over my head is how many pavers. Remember that these are whole objects that we either need to use whole or make explicit that we're using like a half paver or something, which might be difficult depending on, you know, whether you've got the tools to cut them or not. So let's think back to that. We've got our arc length formula is r theta, so 1.61 times 5.9 sorry, 5.8 that we're trying. Are we using 5.9? We are using 5.9. 9.499. So that's pretty close to 9.5 um, times it by 4 and you get um, that there's going to be roughly 38 pavers needed. But again, that's slightly over, that's rounding up, so that's rounding that cost up to things. So we could go on to say something like, you know, they could probably get under budget if they kept it at 37 pavers and just spaced them out slightly further apart from each other. But if not, we do want to actually round it down and maybe use a radius that's smaller than that. If I wanted to think through that aspect of it, something that you could do would just be to try a radius of, you know, 5.75. meters, go ahead and calculate that out, see what's going on, and see if it if it works out roughly to be okay, because one thing that you could talk about here is that um, this is a multiple of 0 0.25, or the 25 centimeters, so a whole number of pavers for the radius for that part of the path, or sorry, for the arc length. Sorry, so that's a whole number, um, a rate that, that will give you a whole number of pavers for the radius, for the edges. Edges of park. And maybe that's something that's helpful for you. So you could go ahead and calculate out what that total cost would be with that. And if there's money left over, you can make a suggestion about what they can maybe spend that money on. Um, we might find that it's actually pretty close. 
Um, oh, yeah, I'm actually realizing that's not quite right. Um, that's not the radius. The radius here doesn't actually matter because you remember in the original problem, they've already paved all the way around the outside. We're just trying to find that part through there. So that doesn't matter so much maybe, but you could try a smaller radius and see if you could get a nice even number of pavers that fit across the arc length. But if not, you just need to be really careful to talk about the fact that you're slightly over or you're slightly over, under, whether or not this is reasonable, and if there's any suggestions you have for them to optimize their, their design. So um, the last thing I would want to do here is make sure that I clarify that um, for this recommendation, they should use a radius of 5.9 meters because that's what we um, were calculating with and give them an actual image of that's supposed to be curved there image of what you mean by that garden so they have that plan for it Okay. so again for the excellence you really just need to communicate that you're understanding what your answers mean and whether or not they work or not work in a particular situation so think really critically about the context of the situation does it actually make sense and don't be afraid to find another answer that might make more sense for you.